Obedience is the key. Yes, hallelujah. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Obedience, obedience is the key. Is the key. You cannot substitute obedience for prayer. Amen. Mama Shantoro, Mama Santo. You cannot substitute obedience for tithes and offering. What kill? Listen to me. What kill? Or what disposed Saul from becoming a king of Israel? Disobedience. Was disobedience. Yes. I would say disobedience. Disobedient. Disobedience is one element that will cut off your deliverance. Yes. Someone say, someone say obedience. Obedience. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 15 verse 22 it is better to obey, to obey God yes. than to offer what? Sacrifice. sacrifice. There's nothing you will give to God Hallelujah. that is greater than your obedience to Him. Amen. You know I have to tell women this. I tell a lot of women this. Men don't need love. Amen. I'm a man. Men don't need love. Men need respect. Amen. Women need love. love. The Bible says, Husbands, love, love your wife. And wives, submit to your husband. You never husband. said love. Amen. That's why when a woman tells a man, I love you hundred times, the man says, He don't feel it. But if, if you tell a woman, I love you only one time, oh, yo, Ooh. oh, Lord, you say you love me. Yeah. Women need love. Amen. Men need respect. Amen. God is not just after your tithes or your offering. Amen. God is after your obedience. Amen. So say my obedience. My obedience. So it is better to obey God, God. Yes. than to offer Sacrifice. sacrifices. In the name of Jesus. You cannot Substitute prayer for obedience. That's why many people pray, and the prayer is not effective. Prayer without obedience that's a dead prayer. It's like a child who never obeys the parents by asking the parents to buy this, to buy that, to buy this. Time will come and the parent will say, I can't buy this no more until you obey me. Because I am your I am your father, you must obey me. Amen. So that word she gave us this morning is a good word. Good say, word. Neighbor, 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 learn to obey God. Learn to obey God. Learn to obey God. Obey God. Learn to what? Obey God. Lift your hands before them. We go pray this morning. Every spirit of disobedience in the name of Jesus. that hinders our growth, yes. that hinders our deliverance. Really? Many of you today, you are under bondage, Hallelujah. you are under spiritual bondage yes. because of disobedience. Hallelujah. But I hear, sh- hold it, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Let me tell you something, watch this, watch me, watch me, watch me. The greatest sin. It's not even a, it's not even fornication and adultery. The greatest sin is the sin of unbelief. Amen. 
When you refuse to believe what God said, well, that's one of the greatest sin. What destroyed the children of Israel was the sin of unbelief. When you believe God, you obey God. Amen. Say neighbor. neighbor. When you believe God, when you, believe you, God obey God. you obey God. Obedience will cost you. Amen. Yes. Say neighbor. neighbor. Obedience to God Obedience to will God. cost you something. It will cost you something. It will cost you some friends. Yes. It will cost you a yakata. Yes. It will cost you yes. some enjoyment. Yes. It will cost you yes. some... Yes. Whatever does not cost you cannot attract God. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you know what you said. Whatever does not cost you cannot attract God. Amen. So true. Amen. The reason why many of you cannot attract God. Disobedience. Disobedience. Yes. We know what to do. You don't need a prophet. You yes. know what to do. Yes. But the problem is we don't have the will to do it. So Saul was the first king of Israel. He lost the position because of disobedience. Yes. The prophet said to him, when you go to AI, kill everything. Yes. That's, this is the word of God. Kill everything. Kill everything. The Bible says he brought some choice animals back from the war. When the prophet went to visit him, he said to him, O oh king, what blessing of the sheep and goat am I hearing? He said, oh no. When I, when I went there, I saw these were nice animals. Nice. I brought them to offer sacrifice to my God. And that's where you see that scripture says, it is better to obey God than to offer what? Sacrifice. I want to pray one more one, one prayer. Every spirit of disobedience that deny me. Some of you don't hear me. So it say every spirit, every spirit. Every spirit of disobedience. Of disobedience. Ruling my life. Ruling my life. Out of God's will. Today, 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 I delete you out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, I have a spirit of disobedience ruling my life from God's will. As I pray, come out, let me go. Now, pray for yourself, pray for yourself, pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth. We bind that spirit. Every spirit of disobedience. Disobedience to God. Disobedience to God's will. His will. His will. Come on, pray. Pray for yourself. Thank God. Today. Today. I cut off. I cut off the spirit right now. Shaka the bottom of her. Pray. 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 I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I cut it off. In the name of Jesus. Disobedient spirit, I cut Pray you somebody. off. I cut you off in the mighty name oh, of yeah, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I destroy yes. every spirit yes. that is working right now. to disobedient in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Disobedient I cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority yes. right now in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Off. Watch this, watch this. There are 60 of you here right now. Lift your hands. There are 60 of you here right now. 60 of you. As I stood here, the Lord took me to heaven. And I saw number 60. I said, God, what is that? God said, I'm going to change your life. Man, I received. As simple as that word is right now. Yes. You are coming. Listen, 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 listen. I want to understand. There's one scripture that changed my life. As I stand here, I said everything. One scripture that changed my life. Isaiah 1 verse 19. He says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. If that you shut up the one. 
If you are willing, the first thing, are you willing? I'm willing, Amen. Lord. Because God is willing to bless you. Yes. He's willing to set you free. Amen. To deliver you. Yes. Amen. To heal your body. Yes. God is willing. Say neighbor. Neighbor. God is willing. God is willing. If you are willing, I no obedience. Yes. Amen. Yes. You cannot be willing with having obedience. Obedience is a key. Amen. Amen. Say neighbor. neighbor. Obedience is the key. Obedience is the key. We are too disobedient as a people. Even when God speaks, we doubt it. God told me about six of you here today. Before the next 48 hours, Amen. I will change your life. Amen. I will change your circumstance. Amen. I will change your home. Amen. I will change your business. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So change. Change. I say pray right now. Some of you can even pray. Some of you cannot pray. Some of you are waiting for me to lay hands upon you. There's nothing in my hands. Nothing in my hands. Watch me. Watch me. If I lay my hands upon you, and there's nothing in your spirit. It's equals to zero. That's right. That's right. Ah, you see, sir, come. See this man, come, come. What me? You see now. Now, watch this. Anything that you add to zero is equal to zero. Many of you are mathematicians, right? Some of you go, some of you went to school. Anything you add to zero is equal to what? I have the anointing. Now, if I lay the hand upon the man, what happens is this. Whatever is in him, the anointing will activate it. Amen. Yes. Amen. But if there's nothing in him, he will go back the same way he came. Amen. Yes. Even though I have the power, because the power is to come and activate what is in you. Yes. The power does not make you different from who you are. Help me, Father. Help me. Amen. Yes. Oh, so if you don't hear this. Hallelujah. God is not a magician. No. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, it will activate what is in you. Amen. Yes. Amen. When I give you a prophetic word, it's to confirm what God is about to do in your life. Amen. Amen. It's not my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, Father, Father, every spirit, every spirit of disobedience, of disobedience in my life, in my life today, today, I command you, I command you, lose me, lose me, let me go. Let now, me pray, go. pray, 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 pray. pray. In the name of Jesus, today we come as a people and we say, Father, let your anointing destroy every spirit of disobedience in our lives, God, that is causing us to disobey the word of God, your command, our this ministry, God, whatever it is, we pray tonight, every spirit of disobedience may be transformed or inherited, or we open up the door for the spirit to come on us, who made us disobedient, but today, Pray. If you're on Facebook, on YouTube, right now. I command you right now, right now, right now. Right now. take right now. disobedience, spirit disobedience, disobedience. Hold you, you your breakthrough, your you success. Now, break it, 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 Right now. We command you right now. We command you to pray. We command you to lose. We command you to die. We command you to disappear. We command you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We apply the blood to destroy. Look In the name the of Jesus. Amen. This is holy moment when God walks in. 
in all us. Hey, every guest, every guest is on the line. This holy moment, this is holy moment. Hey, when God walks in on us. from now as far as you are here today God says I will I will I will embarrass you Hallelujah. with my glory Amen. that will shock your enemies in the name of Jesus Jehovah you want a covenant keeping God covenant keeping Shikadaba covenant keeping God Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God.